Welcome to TechWire, a conversation about government, politics, and technology. My name is Christina Gagne, and today I'm joined by Greg Franklin, a senior fellow with the Governing Institute. Greg, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you for having me. So your expertise is in healthcare IT, and that industry is just so rapidly changing. Can you talk a little bit about you know, what's happening in that industry right now and where you see it going in the next few years? Christina, we're in an industry right now, particularly healthcare, where there's tremendous growth. And when you wrap the technology around it and, and we, get these, we get technology that's focused on the key issues of healthcare today, and that's access, that's quality of health, that's quality, and obviously it's cost and affordability. I think what you see from a technology side is a, a, an explosion of ingenuity, an explosion of innovation. I mean, really, it's, it's a great time to be in healthcare, and it's a great time for healthcare. So knowing that this is such an innovative space, I have to imagine that there are challenges um, as the workforce is currently transitioning out. Our leaders who have been leaders in IT statewide for years are, are now moving on. Um, getting that next generation of innovators and leaders in government. So, so how do we go about that? Well, there are, there are amazing challenges. I'm sure as, you're, I'm sure as you know, uh, we're aging out, you know, a population is aging out of the workforce. More importantly than that, we have a, a population or a generation coming up under us of, of very smart and very uh, intuitive individuals who are multifaceted in their talents and they're working across the spectrum of healthcare and some have adopted uh, uh, um, places in health IT where, they ch where they've chosen to land and others have certainly uh, ha have not. But what's, what's important is that these industries, these individual industries, that's both the insurance industry, that's both the health and hospital industry, have done a very great job in going out and recruiting in those areas. So the recruitment efforts at the university level, the recruitment efforts at the um, employer level have really helped in terms of filling some of the gaps that are going on currently in our workforce. Now, I know a big focus today of the CIO Academy is workforce development and professional development for uh, leaders in the IT space. Um, what do we need to do with our millennial workforce, our newest leaders in government, to make sure they're set up for success? Well, the first thing that needs to occur is awareness. Uh, they have to understand that there's tremendous opportunity uh, in, in the government space, in the healthcare IT space, in healthcare in general. And then after awareness, obviously, there's education. And maybe the education this go round is not more traditional, it's not more formal, but it is more online, it's more uh, by correspondence, or even events like this, you know, governing this the CIO Academy, that will allow individuals to come and get pieces of information and build their knowledge and then make decisions whether or not they want to go into government, go into healthcare, go into health IT. Now, is there anything in the healthcare IT industry that you think is particularly exciting right now? Um, as someone who has been around, has that expertise, something that just makes you excited of what's going to happen next? I think it has to be data. Um, we, we know about the Affordable Care Act, we know about the millions of folks who've enrolled who currently either, either didn't have insurance or had uh, underinsured, but that data that's generated from that activity is massive. So taking that data and using that data, not only in healthcare, but using it in other health and human services type activities, for example, using it in, California has a program called CalFresh, uh, using it in other programs that are meant to benefit individuals uh, that the state serves, is tremendous, and even outside of the state, because many individuals enrolled in health plans that are not necessarily government plans. So data has to be the big, has to be the big attraction for me. Well, Greg, thank you so much for meeting with me again and sharing your expertise. Um, and I'm really excited to see what happens next in healthcare IT. Great. Thank you. And thank you to our audience at TechWire for once again joining us in a conversation about government, politics, and technology.